La La Land is directed by Damien Chazelle and stars Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. This is a modern day musical set in Los Angeles. Ryan Gosling plays an inspiring jazz pianist who's very passionate about jazz music. And Emma Stone plays an inspiring actress just looking for the right role to hopefully get a career for herself. And they meet up, they fall in love, and that's our story. That's all you need to know going into this movie. When I heard that Chazelle was making another film after the incredible, just phenomenal Whiplash, I was excited to see anything else this guy would do after that movie. Whiplash was my favorite film in 2014. It's my second favorite film of the decade so far, and it's my 10th favorite film of all time. So I was excited for La La Land. I'm a big musical fanatic, which is another plus. I love Ryan Gosling, and I love Emma Stone. The trailers looked amazing. This movie has been getting so much praise ever since it premiered at Venice and Toronto, Telluride. I gotta tell you right now, the praise was well-deserving. This is one of the year's best films. I adore La La Land a lot. I love this movie so much. Here's the thing. It's hard not to like this movie. There's so many good things in this movie. I mean, let's just start off with the musical numbers themselves. They're wonderful. They're engaging. They're compelling. A lot of them are shot in long takes, which will lead to the Sims Highway, which I'll talk about shortly. They're catchy. They're memorable. I cannot wait to buy the soundtrack. I loved all the songs in this movie. Like, I loved all of them. The movie opens up with a wonderful musical number, and it ends with a great musical number of sorts. The cinematography is wonderful in this movie. It's so colorful and immaculate. The way Los Angeles looks in this movie, it has elements of Los Angeles from the 30s and Los Angeles now. And that's really awesome to see. This is a beautiful shot movie. There's so many beautiful long takes. I love it. The editing is very quick. This is a quick movie. It's two hours long, but honestly, it flies by like that. It's fast like Whiplash. Same editor, same cinematographer as Whiplash, same songwriters, same composer, all that stuff. Damien Chazelle, dude, you're already, like, a master filmmaker. Like, you're on the same levels as, like, a Spielberg or Scorsese. And, yeah, I'm going that far because Whiplash was phenomenal for someone who was new. This is another example of phenomenal filmmaking. He also wrote Ten Cold Free Lane, which is another great film. I am just so blown away by how much this guy loves film and loves music. The, his love for music is so compelling. I just love it so much. I'm a big musical fan and a fan of music as well. So I love it whenever they depict music and film. I just love the way they depict it here because the way Ryan Gosling's character is so passionate about jazz music is something that really got to me and spoke to me because I'm like... Because I'm not a big jazz music fanatic, but after watching this movie, I might just go on iTunes and YouTube and find some jazz music to listen to because it's actually really brilliant when you think about it. I wouldn't say this is better directed than Whiplash, but I will say that Damien Chazelle has a stronger chance of getting nominated for Best Director for this. He's going to get nominated for Best Director for this movie, as is his script. It's just hard to describe how I feel about this movie because it is such a magical, beautiful film that it's hard not to like. I'm being completely honest with all of you. Now let's get into the acting. I've always liked Ryan Gosling. I think Ryan Gosling's an incredible talent. This is one of his best performances. He is so good at Sebastian. Sebastian is a great character. Like I said, his passion for jazz music is amazing. Ryan Gosling's scene, by the way, is so good. He played the piano a lot in this movie. It was so believable. It was him, by the way, and it was great. Ryan Gosling's got to do more musicals. He was fantastic in this movie, and he will get nominated for Best Actor. Will he win? I'm rooting for Casey Affleck to win. But if Ryan Gosling did win, I wouldn't complain. But this is Emma Stone's movie, in my opinion. Emma Stone is one of those actresses that's also getting better with the films that she chooses. Like, you are wonderful. And honestly, she has a very strong chance to win the Oscar for this movie. Mia is the one you follow the most like you follow her character the most because you know she's a struggling actress she really just wants to make it big she always goes to the audition she's always confident and yet they ignore her they go on their phones or they like oh i want a sandwich and everything it's really compelling and it's really engaging i just i love emma stone in this movie and her singing too i mean her song uh, the audition song that she sings I'm not going to lie. It had a tear coming down my eye. It was so beautiful. Emma Stone really was amazing in this movie. Her chemistry, of course, with Ryan Gosling was on point as usual. As of right now, she gives my favorite lead female performance of the entire year. I loved Emma Stone in this movie a lot. The characters were great. You couldn't have picked anyone better than Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. Overall, La La Land is phenomenal. Now, here's the thing. I have to see it at least again 
to see where it could lie on my list, but right now I love it to death. It's currently my fourth favorite film of the year so far. So with that being said, La La Land is a film that everyone should go check out, musical fan or not. This is a movie for all film lovers and everyone could go out of their way and enjoy it because when I saw the movie last night, I was talking with a few people who were not musical fanatics and they adored this movie. They were clapping after like all the big musical numbers. I love it so much. La La Land gets an A+. Guys, tell me what you thought this movie, if you saw it or if you're going to see it. And if you have seen it, what do you think is better? Whiplash or this? I think Whiplash is the better film. I enjoy that one more. But this one is still amazing. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.